What's up, fight fans? I'm the Sierra Miss of MMA, Tommy Toehold. My love affair with Invicta FC has gotten pretty serious. The kind of serious where you plan on getting a divorce so you can be together. That's why I'm going to take a few minutes to tell you the top five reasons you should be watching Invicta 6 card tomorrow night. Let's do this shit! Number five, Thug Road. Rose Namajunas is a fucking boss, fight fans. Her pro record is two, and oh my god, she did a flying arm bar in 12 seconds her last fight. The 21-year-old has more charisma than the rock pre-tooth fairy. She never fails to entertain whether she's in the cage or waking up Pat Barry by blasting him in the dome. And there's a 96% chance that she and Pat will freak the fuck out after she wins. That alone is worth $14.95. Number four, chicks get after it. Every fight on an Invicta card is fucking insanity. I don't know if it's written into their contracts to leave all their fucks in the car, or if female fighters have decided that functioning organs come second to being the shit out of somebody, but 9 out of 10, these chicks are going full Chris Levin mode until the ref says stop, she's already dead. Afterward, the drinks are on me for cracking your orbital bone with my fists. You gotta love it. Number 3, the other rowdy one. Beck Hyatt is a box full of kittens and puppies. Kittens and puppies who are sleeved up and could kick your ass. She's equal parts adorable and dangerous, prompting me to make up a word for her after her last bout. Adorbarous. This Aussie mummy is the queen of social media, loves interacting with her fans, is the underground's number one crush, but above all else, she gets after it whenever she's in the cage, like the time she went 25 minutes with the Cookie Monster on 10 seconds notice. Number two, Shannon fucking Nap. Invictus Dana White is about as awesome as it gets. When Invicta FC4 had some issues with their live stream pay-per-view, Shannon decided that the card was now free and refunded everybody their money back. Because that's what you do when you're fucking awesome. Shannon works 36 hours a day, yet she's always got time for her fans on Twitter, has given people a reason to visit Missouri, and even threw my goofy ass face up on their banner at weigh-in's last card. If Shannon Knapp were in charge of Pepsi, it would actually taste good and Coke would be out of business. She's the best thing happening in MMA right now, and you can rest assured, she will make sure Invictus card Saturday is more awesome than Heath Ledger not ODing and playing the Joker again. Number one, Junior Dose Cyborg. Cyborg Santos is a fucking wrecking ball. Last time she fought an Invicta, it was more like watching someone get assaulted than it was watching two people fight. And maybe after she has kids, we'll finally get to see her and Ronda. But for now, the main event at Invicta FC6 is a rematch between Dos Cyborg and the female Hickson, Marlos Kunin. The Dutch fighter is a submission machine and has been kicking ass since dial-up was still something people used. The first time they met, it ended with Cyborg throwing her robo fist into Marlos' face or TKO stoppage in round three. But Kunin's been on a tear lately, and this fight should be a fucking barn burner. Above all that though, Tito Ortiz is Cyborg's manager, so there's a chance someone will put a microphone in his face and we'll get a side of comedy gold with our kick-ass fights. Cyborg, thanks for joining us from what appears to be post-apocalyptic Los Angeles. You've never been past round three in your career. Are you going to have the cardio for the championship rounds? Cardio is not required. I'm a cybernetic organism. Breathing is not a part of my programming. Last fight, you were able to overcome Kunin's jiu-jitsu with ground and pound. Is that the game plan for Saturday? My orders are to protect my future babies by defeating Malus Kunin and then acting interested in fighting Ronda Rousey, but then eventually not fighting Ronda Rousey for various reasons. Yeah, what's the deal with that? You really can't make 135 to fight Ronda? If Ronda and I fight, it begins a chain reaction that ends with Skynet becoming self-aware in August of 1997. There are so many parts of that that don't make sense. Since you've been with Tito, your image has changed a bit. Anything big coming up for you outside the cage? Yes, I've decided to pose completely nude. Wow. Alright, that's the show, Fight Fans. Those are the top five reasons to get Invicta tomorrow night. It's gonna be a fucking awesome card. There's a ton of fights. No other sport that matters is doing anything Saturday. So you can either watch reruns of The Big Bang Theory on TBS like a loser, or you can order Invicta FC6 and not suck at life. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. Good night and watch out.